Clark, Clive. Astrid. We'd finish sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, as she. I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. I might still be able to catch her. <sighs> She's got to visit her old man's grave sooner or later. Is that you done then? It's not roped you into building the rest of the board, has she? Mid told me she was building a ship. Mid. Yep. In a bunch. Going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Sid, I remember what you told me, but if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this. 
this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself.
How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. Didn't you, boy? Good girl. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Deserve a rest. So what do you think? That we'd be lucky to make it out alive. Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran. Leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are, they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. You'll be doing Botclad a favor if you can clear out that pass. Why, I dare say they'll give you a hero's welcome. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> You're driving, you lot! No. We've got guests! These must be our bandits. <laughs> Yeah! Go! 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 Go
that's them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part, and that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Bastards would have eaten the lot by now. You've had your reward and you're not getting any more. Now piss off. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. So this is a Mekis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. 
dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominance and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor, whom I gladly serve, Great Grieger, made flesh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks 
for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Headed over to the Crystalline Dominion too, are you? There's good guild to be made there, believe you me. <clears throat> yeah. The minute I heard them bandits have blown up Drake's Fang, I packed up me store and pulled me boots on. And so did you, eh? I did have a plan to make me fortune with some baths down by the Dalamil Inn. How can anybody sit back and relax in a land that ain't got a whiff of the Crystal's blessing no more? And that's when it hit me. If you're looking for lucre, the Dominion's the place to be. Soon enough, half a storm will be headed there. 
If I can get in first and set up shop, I'll have a license to mint Gil. The Guildmaster's a cunt for we beggars by comparison. I'll be famous in all four quarters of storm soon enough, and I'll have a fortune that'll make me ma and pa proud. How much further to Bokhtad now? Good. I've had my fill of life without magic, if you can call it life. The sooner I can fill my flask from a crystal like a civilized adult, the better. Refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. No crystals here. We have to keep going. The crystalline dominion is our only chance. I know, but the checkpoint. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. That then. No traders pass. No passage. Water for hire. The best service at the best price. Others will carry off your fortune. I'll just carry your goods. This is everything. It must be transported to the Dominion without delay. No matter the cost. Certainly, madam. I'll see that our fastest bird is made ready. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. And nasty. Let me, my lord. You won't regret it. Peaches and pears, beets and beans. from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. G good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, uh, how much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. 
We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Come and taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Go and bother someone else, will you? I've got my trader's pass, and I'll be leaving as soon as I'm able. If I stay here much longer, I'll end up no better off than those poor sods by the gates. Remember when half the people coming through here were traders from the Empire? Aye. Now not even our own want to stick around. Come and taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! I'll take the large one. <laughs> An excellent choice, my lord. Ah, oh, good. There you are. Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goot. Just tell us what happened. It's me traders pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Go to the Crimson Caravans and ask for the owner. It's the place with the red chocobo on the sign. Big red chocobo. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other one are purses. Next to the checkpoint. Show them your traders pass. If you're looking for the Crimson Caravans, head out of the canyon and take the first road to your right. But if it's a bowl you're after... No? Hmm. People only ever want directions. Out of my sight, wretch. I've no use for a branded who can't even fill my cup. Well met. Many thanks. May Gilbert smile upon you. had brought any coin with them, we'd be rich. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, Elle! He's been made. As I live and breathe. Goots. 
What are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little bairn could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then... We can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. We've formed something of a merchant's guild to get to the bottom of our pickpocketing problem. The furniture maker by the coach stop is gathering the reports. I looked through the rest of me stuff and, and now else was missing, just me pass. But that was the only thing that really mattered. We can't ride the caravan without it. And it's not as if I'm getting another. It was hard enough getting this one. Oh, please, Clive, you've got to help us get it back. You me on the O. Blood. 
bloody crimson caravans scooping up all the best customers. Leave some for the rest of us. <sighs> Hurry, man. I must leave for the Dominion post haste. I am hurrying, my lord. This is everything. It must be transferred. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. And nasty. Let me know. Peaches and pears, beets and beans. Jug of snake spit for the road? It'll keep you warm. Juicy pears! Slake your thirst without a crystal! Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wheeze collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Have a word with the fishmonger back there, by the gate. She's been looking into who the culprits might be. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? The little scamps you'll see running around here might be naughty, but I don't see any of them being involved in this. Still, they might have heard something. Can't hurt to ask. <sighs> you should come with me. To the Dominion. Life will be different there. Tight-fisted Come taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop me. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything... ...out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> Only thing you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Oh, just leave me alone. Do you have a moment? What do you want? 
What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. I picked a hole in my pocket once. Is that bad too? Caravan stops next to the trick. Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. He'll probably be by the tents. You... you won't hurt him, will you? This is everything. It must be transported. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy! I'm hungry. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed. If we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hansa, where are you going? So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Do it again. Stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but. Thank you. The chocobo pen's back there. I don't know if it's the same lad who stole from you, but that's where he was headed. choice I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them who are they call themselves the car stones they said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me I knew they were bad but bread doesn't come for free didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them and you know if I didn't do it they just pick on someone else someone they could push around easier Hansa. You found him, then? Jill? Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> You're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved.
cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... <laughs> Don't hurt him. <laughs> making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> huh? Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Botlad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I had been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. I'm sorry. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. It looked like they were about to turn into Lainey's Cleft before they spotted me. You can do it, Clive! Now oh, you better not have scared any of my birds. That's that, then. Daddy! There are no crystals here! Hungry. in our business. You should have reminded me of it.
Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural-born ne'er-do-wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Goose's pass will be in here somewhere. It might take a while to find it, though. You should go back to Boglad and give my sister the good news.
Hurry, man. I must leave the town. Bloody crews and coupons. Scooping up all the best customers. Leave some for the rest. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places, while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll... Try the caravan. Right then. Let's get this back to Goots. And then it's on to the Dominion. Is something the matter? Why, I am what you see. It can be a risky business. This being a border town. Or at least, it did. Don't worry about Honza and the others. Safe travels.
five. And I wouldn't have it any other way. All the better. Fools, the lot of them. Criminals and cowards. So thank you. Farewell then. Me, but would you happen to be a fighting man, perchance? That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. Wonderful! Then come! We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis Road, and from there, onward to Discovery. Quickly! There is not a moment to lose! Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Order for hire. Best service. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. Can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Whatever left poor Joseph Grey didn't leave him jaded. Kind-hearted man like him doesn't deserve to meet his end, chasing thieves. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? 
I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it? Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Boklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. There are plenty of hard-working folk here in Boklad, but my three friends deserve a tipple more than most. You let them know there's a cup of fine wine waiting for them when they're ready. I hear the brothers found another victim. Can you I believe it, all right. What's that? The third this month. soldier like yourself could do with hearing this. If ever you see a couple of brothers up in Leighton's cleft, you just pass them right on by. And why is that? Because they're duplicitous bastards who make cutthroats and footpads look like upstanding citizens by comparison. What they do is befriend a passing merchant, someone new to the area, and steer them straight into the arms of bandits. The merchant dead and his murderers busy bickering over the poor bastard's wares. The brothers set to sweet talking some other unsuspecting fool, a warrior. Now, the brave soul charges into the footpad's den thinking he's doing the realm a favor, and when he's done, the brothers sweep in and loot the bandits and dead merchant both. Yeah, there's a lazy sort of cunning to it, I suppose. You'd think they'd run out of bandits eventually. So close to Bogland. Not bloody likely. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, if you run into them, you steer clear. Or better yet, give them a damn good hiding. <sighs> I only wish I had. Thanks for the warning. to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Yeah, look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd sorrowflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Most men would keep a fine vintage like a Gotan 66 to themselves. But not our innkeeper. He's a true gent, that one. Out of my sight! of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. 
He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclay clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. I've been keeping a cut of something special by for just such an occasion. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. The Empire's your enemy, not us. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. He must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. All done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. There's nothing like a good drink to drown your sorrows. No one knows sorrow like us gate guards. Let us through! Tight fists. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Jug of snake spit for the road? Come on, come on! <sighs> if our new arrivals had brought any coin with them, you'd... I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bolek, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken.
Kill the poor sod. For a handful of coins at that. Ah, uh, you were right to stay your bastard captain's hand. More bloodshed is the last thing we need in these dark days. I owe these remarkable gentlemen more than a few paltry cups of wine. Even if it is the finest wine in all the Velisphere. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing like a cup or five of good wine to wash away the aches of the road. Crystal's here. We have to keep going. 